today's video I'm going to show you how to install the Bing Ready Standard Tools which will allow you to diagnose your car properly and also download the MS4X Flasher and the Tuner Pro software so you can tune your car as well. So firstly we will install Bing Ready Standard Tools which click on the download link below and download these three. We will start zipping. The zipping the files will take a while. As you can see down here, it's only halfway for me. This will take probably five to ten minutes, depending on your internet speed. The icon and extract it. Once you've extracted it, click on the folder and then go to Bing Ready Standard Tools. If you're on Windows 7, you should be able to just click this and run it like normal, but if you're on Windows 10 or 11, you need to right click, go to properties go to compatibility and then run as Windows 7 and click OK and then you can run it like normal. Go English unless you're in a different language go English accept next you will need to install the defaults um, yep that's right complete install so unless you, unless you don't want these tools, but it's a complete install. Um. <coughs> Hit next, 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 uh, next, and then don't need data backups. So turn those off. Create desktop icons if you want. Hit next. Make sure you want no backup. Yep. And then, yep, that's what we want. OBD, next. COM1. Yep. USB to serial adapter, yep. Go next, next, next. Finishing installation, now we'll restart later. So now we need to go to your C drive, open the new tab. If you're on Windows 11, we'll go to C drive. Now we need to replace the folders with the ones that are in the EC apps. So we need to delete the EC apps folder, this one, that one, that one and that one, these top five. ECS apps, Eddie, Abbas, Eng, or I'm not even going to say that, Sutton, Dayton, ECS Expert, and NFS Backup. So hold Shift and press Delete key to permanently delete those. And then we need to go back to our download folder and extract this one. So you can go. Extract all to C, select folder, extract. This will take a little bit of time. Alright, so mine's almost done. Five seconds, but Windows lies and it's going to take, yep, yeah, as Windows does. Five seconds turns into 25 seconds, and 25 seconds turns into 30 seconds. That's about right. Come on, you bastard. Come on. Tip, tip, tip today. Five seconds. All right, we're all done. So now you need to plug in your K slash DCAN cable to the computer. 
and then go to device manager. Right click, oh, there's no admin, so just open it. You need to find your device, which I assume is that one, but Windows will take a couple minutes to install the drivers for it, which looks like it might have. No, it's getting there. If they are successful, it should show up under the ports there, that one, COM3. So once it's installed, um, it should appear under here. If not, you can grab the driver from the folder under here and extract that and then point it to that, which I can show you which if you need to update driver, browse computer, and then find that driver. But mine's done and yours should be done. So don't need to go like that. Um, the one thing you need to change is the COM port to COM1. So you need to go properties, uh, port settings, advanced, and then COM3, uh, change COM3 to COM1. And then click OK. And that's been the standard tools installed. So now I will install the MS4 Explasher. All right, once the BMW standard tools are downloaded, you can close that go to the MS4 X Flasher, which is a link down below. Click the 64-bit Windows one, which majority of people have 64-bit Windows. So download that. And then I've already downloaded it before. And then tune the Pro Link. You need to download the free one, which is the top one. Download. If you're using Edge, just click on the three dots. Keep. Show more, keep anyway, so it doesn't bug you. Because it thinks it's a virus, so click on MS4X, flash it first, next. Agree, uh, typical install, install, and finish, that's it. And tune pro, same, click on that, accept. You still want to change where it's located, but next, next. Next, install, and finish. So that's those two done, pretty simple. Um, Tune Pro is this one, which you can install your bin files into and change your tune. And MS4X Flusher, which I didn't put on the desktop. MS4X Flusher, open. You will need to license it. So you need to plug your plug your car. <clears throat> so you need to plug your cable into the car. Oh, hold on, don't worry. <clears throat> All right. So you need to open up an MS4X flasher with your serial cable plugged in your cage such that can cable. Copy this hardware ID and then go to that link there, which I will go there now. Activation MS4X. And then copy your code in. Generate license. You will download the license file and you need to go settings, load license. Downloads, grab the license file, and it should activate the successful loading the license. So once you plug it into the car, it'll give you all the features, but now it's only going to give you the absolute basics. So you can do checks and correction on your home computer without being connected to the car, which is a great thing.
All right, so that's everything installed. Input is the main one we use. Um, all right, so input is the main one you use. Insys Expert is the one you can use to do other things. But, and WinKFP is one that you can use to upgrade your DME, which will be in the next video I am showing. So keep an eye out for that one. But input is the one where you find all your diagnostic stuff and all your error codes and stuff in a readable language, not those P blah 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 codes that everyone posts online um but yeah that's all there